like uh, longest common prefix. Write a function to find the longest common prefix string amongst an array of strings. If there is no common prefix, return an empty string. Uh, in this example, flower flow flight fl is the longest common prefix. In this example, the dog race 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 car and car. There's no common longest prefix. So I think a good approach to start from the lowest uh, for, to take the lowest string length and sorry to take the string of the lowest uh, length so flow I will start with the flow and for each number for each string in the array I will just compare flower dot index of flow does that equal to zero if not I will subtract uh, char character from flow so it will be just FLO now then I will do it another time is flower dot index of flow not equal to zero if that is true I will just subtract this now FL will now flower dot index of FL the string will be equal to zero so I will just stop now compare it with this thing as well so now I have FL compared to this one it will immediately be uh, zero so I will stop so FL is the result. So I think encode it will be much much, much easier to understand. So first thing uh, I will sort the array of strings equal dot sort. Uh, I will give it a callback function. It's serious, just simple sort function. So b dot length minus a dot oh, dot a dot length as well. So this will sort the the array of strings from the lowest uh, character. God, I can't speak. From uh, it's what it just will sort it uh, in ascending order. So the 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 will, the shortest string will be at the start. So that's why I will just create a variable called min as string equal uh, the first index. If that does not exist, I will just assign it to empty string. And now for let let i equal one since I will start from the next index from the lowest I don't want to compare the string with itself that's why I sorted the array and I took the shortest string because I think I think it will work with any with any string you take but I will take the shortest one so we don't loop that many times I think it's a little bit faster so I will just loop through the strings. From starting from the first index after I took the from the zero index the shortest string. Now uh, what I will do if strings of index i I will compare it with using the index index of I need this to be zero, which means they are at the prefix and they are common. So min uh, as they are. So if that not equal to zero, which the value I'm looking for, I will just uh, min string will be equal to min string dot sub string starting from zero to the last element minus one. So I will just remove a character from the last from the last index. Yeah, I'll just remove the last character from the string. I think I can remove these. So like this, and at the end, just return min string. So let's try to run the code. Should be working fine. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, it's faster than 93% of JavaScript online submissions. And it's using less than 100% of JavaScript submissions. I'm not sure if I'm the only one who uses JavaScript, but yeah. This is good.